If you work with GDScript, you definitely know how variable work in GDScript. You can define variable and first this variable is an integer. Next you change it and it is a boolean and maybe next it is containing information about a node. So, so how does it work? Basically what GDScript does, it is going to store this information inside a C++ class which is called variant. And this variant store this information with basic C++ data type like integer, float, or C++ pointer. Using variant has some pros and cons. The cons are, it takes more space. A variant can take up to 24 bytes. This means even if you need to create a boolean which normally take only one byte, but anyway, that occupy 24 bytes. Other cons is that it's a little bit more slower. The pros is that it makes the life easier. But if you wrote your entire game in GDScript which use variant, don't worry about that. Because it does not make your game too slow. The Godot engine itself is written in C++ which is super fast. Basically the logic which you define by GDScript is small compared to what Godot core engine does. Ok, now it is time to show you the variant class in C++. But before that, please note this video is a part of GD extension video series. If you don't know how to set up a GD extension project, please watch other video in this series. So first include variant class in your project and then create a variant object. Just like GD script, here also the variant can be once an integer, once a boolean and once a string and so on. You can also extract the value of the variant and assign that to an integer or any other suitable type. Variant can hold lots of different data types, but it cannot hold everything. A variant can have 38 types in Godot 4, in Godot 3 that is less than that. Each type is associated with an integer number which you can find in Godot documentation. You can get the variant type with type of function in GDScript. In GD extension, you can use getType method to get the type. Also, you can get the type name in a string format by a static method inside variant which is called getTypeName. So what happens each time you assign variant to a different data type? Variant for each type you assign to it has a constructor. And each constructor is defined two things. First one is the type and the second one is the data you want to assign. The type is just an enum which we explained and the data is a union. Union basically is a special class type that can hold only one of the data member. This means only one of these data can be active at a time. And the size of the union is determined by the biggest data member. In another word, union create a block of data inside the memory and one time this block interpret as integer, another time it's interpret as a boolean, and so on. So what if, if you want to assign a node in your scene to your variant? Or you want to assign a resource type to your variant? What type that would be? Before answering that, please note all resource type and all node inherit from object class. So each time you want that your variant keep information about those, you will keep its object data which contain a pointer to that object, and its object ID. Okay, that's it about variant. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, please leave in the comment below. Have a good time. Bye till the next video.